Hey, it's Ethan Skolnick for Five on the Floor on the Five Reasons Sports Network after we just watched one of the worst exhibitions of basketball that the Miami Heat have put on in quite some time. They lose 111 to 88 to the New Orleans Pelicans, and actually that 88-point total, which is pathetic for the year 2024, that was padded at the end by Cole Swider scoring 14 points. Before that, the Heat had shot 20% from three. Seems like every time that they get off to a fast start in a game like they did today, the offense falls apart and they're crawling to try to get to 90 to 95 points. They stop Zion. That's like the one thing that they did effectively tonight. He was not a factor, but CJ McCollum had 30. He's always killed the Heat. And I hate to say it, but after the skirmish that they had in New Orleans, everybody thought Jimmy Butler would come out with a lot of energy, and typically it works the other way. And actually, Najee Marshall, who was involved in that skirmish in New Orleans, he outplayed Jimmy Butler tonight. Jimmy was just not effective enough, um, had a lot of trouble with New Orleans length, whether it was Herb Jones or Trey Murphy or Marshall or any of the others or even Zion. Bam really didn't show up until late in the game. They went long periods of time without getting the ball to him. I thought there were times that Thomas Bryant was actually more impactful than him. And Eric Spolster just kept cycling through rotations. He played everybody. Patty Mills is now three for his last 31 from three, and yet he's the spacer in the starting lineup. So they desperately need to get Duncan Robinson back. I did speak to him before the game, along with other reporters, and he seems like he's on the road to recovery, so he might even be able to play on Sunday. So we'll see how that works out. But for right now, um, just a, a dreadful performance by the Heat against New Orleans, and this keeps them in the eight seed. They had an opportunity with the Pacers and the Sixers on the West Coast to possibly pick up some ground, but they're stuck in the play-in, and they're playing like a play-in team or worse at the moment. So they'll need a much better effort against Cleveland on Sunday. Again, Ethan Skolnick for five on the floor and the Five Reasons Sports Network after the Heat lose 111 to 88 to the Cleveland Cavaliers. Excuse me. Well, they may lose to Cleveland on Sunday to the New Orleans Pelicans. My apologies. Have a good night, everybody.